In this video I'm going to show you how you can start a loose landscape painting with a stormy sky using acrylic paints. Hi, it's Marie-Louise here, the Danish painter. Today I want to touch on one of the biggest mistakes that I see some students making. For a loose painting style, it's imperative that you start loose. So if you're looking to paint loose, you have to start the painting in a very loose manner. And uh, I want to show you one way that you might do that. The inspiration for this painting is uh, this photograph that I took last year. I never like to copy a photo literally. So instead I'm looking to depict the one or two main features that interests me about the scene. So in this case it is the large dark cloud taking up most of the picture plane. I'm also not trying to capture the exact colors, uh, but I like to start with a warm underpainting. Here I'm using uh, burnt sienna and I thin it with a lot of water to make a very watery, thin mixture of paint. What I'm looking to create is a very thin sort of base layer. It's going to be very close to um, sort of a, a stain and um, I add the very watery solution of paint and then I'm going to wipe it off or kind of rub it into the surface of the canvas after that. And uh, let me speed up the process a bit. Fluid paint and big brushes is a surefire way to loosen up as it is almost impossible to add any details. So if you're looking for uh, ways to loosen up, I want to give you something as well. Uh, if you haven't already, you can uh, download my free PDF guide, which has five proven ways to loosen up your painting style. I will leave a link to that in the description below this video, if that's something you want to check out. For this next stage, I am using a black and a neutral gray color and prepare in a similar manner and set aside. I will also get out some paper towel to keep it handy. And now let the fun begin. If you have tried very loose watercolors or free-flowing inks, you might be familiar with this uh, free-flowing technique. The trick here is to have everything ready and then just go for it. Let the paint flow and mingle Use brushes, rags, and paper towels to manipulate the paint. And try to have a, what if I tried this approach? And be as bold as you can. This is only paint, and we can certainly paint it over. This is the stage where you want to be as bold and as loose as possible because at later stages it's much more difficult so try and be as brave as you can and just get in there with the paint and uh, be as bold and uh, as free as you possibly can.
it can be easy to get caught up in the notion of this uh, romance of uh, the life of a painter. Uh, we might think that uh, we just unwrap our paints and we paint a lovely painting and then we pack away our paints as if it's just a linear, linear process. But that is rarely the case, at least in my experience. Um, I have been painting for more than 25 years now, and uh, some days things flow more easily, and some days um, it's just more of a struggle. But very rarely uh, is the process uh, just a breeze from beginning to end. Those days will happen. Uh, but they are rare and uh, far in between. You might be wondering, where is that reference photo of hers? And the truth is, I only looked at the reference photo initially for inspiration. All I have to do now is to remember the feeling of the reference photo. So that dark, brooding sky... That's what I aim for in the painting. So whether the sky looks like the photo or not is not really important. I just want to make sure that I have a, a dark sky with rainy looky uh, clouds. Removing paint from the canvas um, can be just as effective as adding paint. Oh, I really like to uh, use this technique um, of removing paint as well from the canvas. It's kind of a give and take uh, approach. Adding paint and removing paint and alternating between a large brush and the paper towel. The paper towel is also excellent for uh, softening transitions, uh, particularly in the sky. Sometimes I'll also use the water spray bottle and spray in smaller areas on the paint while it's still moist. I'll wait for a while and then I can lift off some of the paint using paper towel. This is another uh, type of uh, effect that can uh, look very nice in uh, smaller areas.
I have decided to stop for now and let the painting dry. And here it is, fully dry. Now I can decide to leave it as is, or I can add more layers of paint and colors. I hope this video was useful and got you thinking of new ways to loosen up your painting style. Don't forget to uh, pick up your free guide via the link below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.